The job of an artist is not only to create, but to share their work. It is your responsibility because it is through your art that we can heal, feel loved, heard, and understood. If you have a story inside of you, it's your duty to share it. But I know it's not easy. All artists deal with fears, self-doubts, and questions that hold us back. From my personal experience, it's one of the scariest things I had to overcome as an artist. Because when I create, I speak from my soul. I put myself in the line of fire of being judged. And that's something I still face whenever I release anything online. However, what I have learned is that fear isn't something you should avoid. It doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. That fear is simply a cost that all artists have to pay on their way to doing meaningful work. Being a creator who puts himself out there is fun, scary, and inspiring. I now have over 40,000 followers across all social media platforms. I've made friends with other creators from all around the world. And I've landed a couple opportunities that wouldn't have happened if I didn't put my thoughts, words, and creativity online. Sharing my art has opened up so many doors for me. It's helped me build confidence in myself in ways nothing else has. It's helped me create my purpose, overcome obstacles, grow as a person, and it helped me land a content creator job that I quit after two days. So while it is terrifying, sharing my art has been one of the best things I've done for my life. It's extremely rewarding and fulfilling, and I want you to experience that feeling as well. So here's how I overcame my fear of sharing my art online, and hopefully you can gain something that can get you over that hurdle. So in order to overcome this fear, I had to understand why I was scared. I had to get to the root of my fear. And I realized I wasn't afraid of failure itself. I was afraid about what others would think if I failed. Because the truth is, if I fail when nobody is watching, then it doesn't really matter. I'll just try again. But it's crazy how things change when you put a couple people on that sideline. So that made me think and continue to trace this fear as far back as possible. And the conclusion I arrived at was that I was afraid to be alone. For instance, if I put out my art and no one likes it, I'm gonna look like a fool. And nobody wants to be friends or date a fool. So I'll end up alone and I'll eventually die from loneliness. How extreme does that sound? But that's how most of us feel. Most of our fears can be traced back to not fitting in and ending up alone. That's why most people never take that risk of putting themselves out there. Whether it's asking someone out, applying for a job or sharing your art, we fear being rejected. So we'd rather stay in our current conditions safe and comfortable, but not happy and fulfilled. So once I understood the root cause of my fears, I was able to take the steps to overcome them. The number one way to overcome your fear of sharing your art is to jump in. Like Nike says, just do it. However, when I began my creative journey, my confidence level was at an all time low. I had zero courage to just go for it. So instead, I eased into it. I created a new Instagram account, separate from friends and family. I added strangers and posted content where I hid behind graphics. I probably didn't post a picture or video of myself until a year after I created the account. And the type of content I was posting wasn't vulnerable at all. I would just post a beat with a picture I took off Google and simply write the title, the BPM, and the key of the beat. So while I did share my art online, I wasn't really putting myself out there, so it felt safe and comfortable. It wasn't until the second year that I built up the courage to show my face online and post a little more vulnerable art. This was the first time I actually spoke on camera and expressed how I felt through tweets. And even that little progress was scary, but the feeling I had afterwards made up for it. It felt good to finally express myself even if I wasn't completely vulnerable. And that progress, even though it was slow, showed me who I could become. And that's what I needed. That's what ignited the fire inside of me to keep going. While getting a glimpse of who I could become was motivating, the thing that really fueled my drive was my pain. I didn't like who I was. I didn't like my current situation. And I saw where I was headed if I continued down that path. So it terrified me to the point where it pushed me to take action because I had never felt pain that bad. I was at a dead end job. I had just had my heart broken and I had no purpose. So I had to make the decision, let this pain consume me or use it to fuel my escape because humans would rather avoid pain than to seek pleasure. I mean, yeah, having a goal is important, but what's more important is having something you're running away from, something that's chasing you. And for me, it was that life I was living. I knew how painful it was, and I didn't want to experience that again. My pain fueled me to do what I had to do in order to escape, and that meant putting myself out there. So suddenly that fear of sharing my art online didn't seem as bad as living a life that felt like death. And the final thing that helped me get over my fear of sharing my art is that I detached myself from my work. 
Like I said, when I create, I speak from my soul. So it feels like my art is me. And it's somewhat true because some aspects of yourself are in your art, but that doesn't mean it's really you. You are separate from what you create and you need to acknowledge that. Understand if people hate your art, it doesn't mean they hate you. For example, if you make a song that your parents don't like, it's not gonna change how they feel about you. Because the truth is you can only control what you create. Once you put it out into the world, it's out of your control. Some people will love it and some people will hate it. But it doesn't matter because you're already on to the next project. We don't create for the love, we create from love. Remember, fear isn't something you should avoid because if you do, you'll never grow. You'll never see who you really are. You'll never see what you're truly capable of and you'll never see that life that was meant for you. So put yourself out there because by doing so, you'll open up so many doors, some that you envision and some that you never thought were possible. And the key to opening those doors is found through sharing your art. Thank you for watching and don't forget to make art or die.